we have a lot of activities to do here in the spring but majority of the shops are being closed i'm trying to find i am really hungry right now <laughs> Good day guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is Laurent and greetings from the heart of the Blue Mountains in this lovely day. Yes, spring is in the air. Oh, by the way guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider it to do so. And if you did tell me also, yes, hope you guys are really doing well and doing amazing. Yes, spring is my favorite season of the year it's just because um the weather tends to be warmer during the day and it tends to cool down at night so it's just a perfect weather for me and not too hot not too cold and we have a lot of activities to do here in the spring but apparently because of the pandemic all the travels or those events that we usually attend are being cancelled like we have a flower festival in canberra which is the capital state and we always go to the city to mingle with friends go to the beach or even in the parks all those gatherings are being cancelled well it's locked down and we have to adhere or we have to follow the protocol set by New South Wales government and state, not only here in Sydney, but in other states and um, cities in Australia. And during this season, you can see those flowers like the wattle, the yellow flower, which is the national flower here in Australia. But here in the blue mountains i haven't seen much but um it's starting to bloom especially or you can see that in the parks or in the roads or in the garden it's really a beautiful flower color of water is yellow and it's color of joy and celebration so ah it's just such a perfect day here and oh my goodness i want to go somewhere but now And what a perfect day to start with my breaking, which is my up and go. <laughs> Maybe you are sick and tired of seeing drinking my up and go every time I uploaded my vlogs or my videos rather. And yeah, we just enjoy life even though it's pandemic. I am so happy and grateful that my family back in the Philippines, they are okay. I rang them the other night and we talk like an hour because I really miss my family, especially my nanny and my brother, my niece and all those people who close to my heart. And hopefully we can travel really, really soon. As far as the lockdown is concerned, still we are in lockdown. Um, though other places of concern, um, the, the curfew has been lifted, and uh, I think it's starting to ease down the lockdown. Hopefully, numbers will be dwindling, <laughs> and the clinic is so quiet. There's no long queues, so we are happy with that. It's getting better. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, I just loving the fresh air, and uh, I really miss to eat Filipino dishes or Filipino foods. I might have something like Asian dish for lunch for a change. <laughs> I just really wants to yeah relax today and yeah seeing or showing it to you all those beautiful flowers and. Um, eat
Alright guys, I am walking around here in the main town in Katumba as you can see. Oh, it's really quiet. <laughs> and the majority of the shops are being closed. I'm trying to find um, a canteen or a resto. Um, like Chinese resto. Because I want to eat something like fried rice or just Asian foods. Because I'm really craving for that. Shops are being closed on this sunny day. <laughs> As you can see, well, what we expect, we have to protect the community as well. It's better to, to close rather than to spread the virus in the whole community. And the government's really generous. I think they're extending hope to those businesses who are being affected by the closure of the shops. Well, I just realized guys that I am craving for sardines. So I'm here at Woolies and um, we are running out of rice as well. You know, rice is life. It's been like five months that we bought rice and I am really looking for this section. Where is it now? Because it's the usually the the shopping but he's still sleeping we always do online now because of the lockdown uh where is it my goodness um as you can see a lot of sales or prices has been discounted for some reasons and which is good for the consumers like us we save a little bit like three percent or five percent so this is the asian corner I still have a lot of noodles at home. I just want to buy sardines. Yeah. So noodles. But I still have a lot of stocks. So this is the one I choose. Um, looks like yummy. I am really hungry right now. I can't wait to have sardines when I get home. <laughs> Alright guys. Obviously, I'm home. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just cooking rice because I would be having my lunch yeah and this is my sardines guys <laughs> I'm really hungry um I'm the only one who's gonna eat because Steve doesn't like sardines yeah <laughs> he doesn't like the smell of sardines so but I don't care I am really hungry i want to eat so small pieces of fish that's why i don't like australian sardines much unlike the philippines made sardines like legal what else ah i just really love it this one is really overpowering this let's say steve doesn't like the smell of it but i'm really hungry and we're gonna squeeze with a lemon just to balance with the uh, the taste <laughs> should i say rice is already cooked <clears throat> no diet for today yummy <laughs> that's it guys it's, it's probably put all the sardines on my plate You know, a little bit of sauce. I thought it's in tomato paste, but not. It's like spring water. It tastes so good. Um, yummy. The sardines is one of my favorite dishes. Back in the Philippines, we always eat sardines, especially when there is typhoon and you know it's raining. It's really easy to prepare. You can just eat like that. Just open the can and that's it. Or you can even cook with miswa and um, other veggies. But for me, I like plain. All right, guys, I will end this vlog because I want to eat lunch. So. If you like this 
video, give me a thumbs up below and smash the red bell icon below for more updates again. Don't forget to smile. It's free until next time. Cheers, guys.